Well, in this last day of early voting, Texans continue to shatter records. Here at home, so many of you participated in early voting over the past few weeks, and now the final numbers are in. In Nueces County, more than 103,000 people have voted early. And that's not counting mail-in ballots. Over in San Patricio County, the number was over 19,000. 3 News anchor Leslie Adamy takes a look at the turnout. Early voting in 2020. Gosh, it's kind of flown by fast. Almost anywhere you look, especially throughout Texas, there seems to be a common theme. And as Nueces County Clerk Kara Sands confirms, we have broken records. So we have made history again in Nueces County. Historic turnout for a historic election. Right up until this final day of early voting, more than 88,000 Nueces County residents had already early voted in person. Compare that to the 2016 election when 76,000 early votes were tallied and 107,000 votes overall. You know, people just wanted to cast their ballot. They just wanted to vote, and that's what we do. Here at one of the more popular local voting spots, we caught up with this couple whose schedules worked out just perfectly this afternoon to get their civic duty done. So everyone's right, and of course, uh, it affects everybody. So I mean, it's very important to come out and cast your vote because uh, you know, if you think it doesn't affect you, it, it does affect you. It does trickle down all the way down to us, so it's very important. Fast forward to Election Day, Tuesday, November 3rd. If you're voting in Oasis County, polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. across more than 80 locations. You can find more helpful voter information online at KTBLITV.com. Leslie Adamy, 3 News. By the way, that number in Nueces County represents almost half of those registered to vote. In other parts of the Coastal Bend, numbers are up as well. According to the Secretary of State's website, as we told you, more than 19,000 people voted in San Patricio County. They've seen a 40% turnout in Clayburg County, and more than 7,800 people have already voted in Jim Wells County. Over in Bee County, 41% of registered voters have made their way to the poll.